Welcome back to Yes to Positive. In today's video, we're going to talk about an important topic, PEP, which stands for Post Exposure Prophylaxis. We'll be discussing what PEP is, how it works, and its role in preventing HIV infection after a potential exposure. Let's get started. Hey everyone, it's great to have you here. Before we dive into the details, let's start with a brief overview of PEP. PEP is a medication regimen used to prevent HIV infection after a potential exposure, such as unprotected sex, needle sharing, or occupational exposure for healthcare workers. Transition to how PEP works. So, how does PEP work? Let's break it down into a few key points. Purpose of PEP. PEP is designed to act as an emergency measure to prevent the establishment of HIV infection after a potential exposure. It works by inhibiting the replication of the virus in the body. Medication regimen. PEP involves taking a combination of antiretroviral drugs similar to those used in HIV treatment. The specific drugs and dosage may vary depending on factors like the source of exposure and local guidelines. It's important to consult a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate regimen for you. Timing and duration. Host. Time is of the essence when it comes to PEP. It is most effective when initiated as soon as possible, ideally within two hours, but no later than 72 hours after exposure. PEEP is typically taken for a duration of 28 days, with medication taken once or twice daily. Transition to effectiveness and consultation. Host. Now let's discuss the effectiveness and the importance of seeking medical consultation. Effectiveness of PEEP. When taken correctly and initiated promptly after exposure, PEP can significantly reduce the risk of HIV infection. However, it's important to note that it is not 100% effective and its efficacy decreases as time passes after exposure. Prompt action is crucial. Medical consultation. PEP should always be initiated under the guidance of a healthcare professional. If you believe you have been exposed to HIV, it is important to seek immediate medical attention. A healthcare provider will assess your situation, discuss your risk factors, and determine if PEP is appropriate for you. Conclusion And that wraps up our overview of PEP, or post-exposure prophylaxis, for preventing HIV infection after a potential exposure. PEP serves as an important emergency measure to reduce the risk of HIV transmission when taken promptly and correctly. Remember, PEP is not a substitute for other preventive methods like consistent condom use or PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. It is a short-term intervention following a specific exposure incident. If you find yourself in a situation where you believe you have been exposed to HIV, act quickly and seek medical advice to discuss your options, including PE. Your healthcare provider will guide you through the process and provide the necessary support. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on important health topics. Let's stay informed and work together towards a healthier future.